Hindustan Aeronautics will deliver the first Tejas Mark 1A aircraft to the Indian Air Force by end of July. Hindustan Aeronautics and Bharat Electronics Limited are gearing up for crucial trials of indigenous long-range dual-band infrared search and track system for Su-30 fighter jets. The DRDO is improving the battery technology of Varun Astra heavyweight torpedo, which will extend the range of the torpedo. Indian Navy has successfully conducted certification tests for the explosives developed by Economic Explosives Limited. After completing flight demonstrations, the Archer short-range weaponized UAV is all set to conduct crucial missile evaluation trials in the coming weeks. Apart from the deal between an Indian firm and the Russian maker of S-400 system to maintain and repair the S-400 system in India, they are planning to eventually produce important components for S-400 systems in India. Pakistan's ambassador to the US has urged the US government to provide small arms and modern equipment to his country to ensure the success of newly approved counter-terrorism initiative. Indian Navy's multi-role stealth frigate INS Shualik has reached Pearl Harbor in Hawaii to take part in the world's largest naval exercise rim back 2024. After the Indian government unveiled a new policy for the $20 billion MRFA program, it seems that French firm Dassault Aviation is hesitant about the technology transfer clause in the new policy. Experts have said that France's reluctance to share technology could pose a challenge to India's MRFA program, and this tech transfer denial comes even after recent selection of 26 Rafale Marine by the Indian Navy, especially when Dassault Aviation is facing huge Rafale backlog exceeding 200 units. Among the other contenders in the race, Sweden's Saab Group and Russia's MiG Corporation had expressed to offer full technology transfer to India, while in case of Eurofighter Typhoon, India will gain access to transfer of technology for many of the aircraft core technologies, enabling further upgrades independently. BSS Material Limited had offered the 5.56 by 45 mm AK-19 for the 4.5 lakh carbine requirement of the Indian Army, that was recently rejected by the Army, and this decision has been challenged in court by BSS Material Limited. As per media reports, the AK-19 offer was not rejected due to poor scores in evaluations, but since the company lacked financial backing to execute this program in case it won the tender, that required certain balance in the bank guarantees. While the legal dispute continues, the AK-19 presents an interesting option for the carbine program, as it chambers NATO ammunition, user-friendly ergonomics, and modular design, which fully aligns with the Indian Army's potential requirements. The competition for 80 medium transport aircraft will be a close race between the C-390 and C-130J, as initial estimates have suggested that the Embraer C-390 Millennium might hold a cost advantage over its primary competitor Lockheed Martin C-130J. Embraer's proposal includes the C-390 aircraft along with a technology transfer package for local manufacturing, with a per unit cost estimated between $140 million and $160 million, and this price range appears slightly lower than what the Air Force might expect for the C-130J, that currently costs around $167 million per unit while the third contender Airbus A400M costs $240 million per unit. Today's top 3 comments <laughs>